We've got something new that just came out. Um, first first, the oh, first oh, ever. What's your name? My name is Danny Baptista. Danny. Yeah, I'm thank with you. Fine Power Tools. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Thank you for allowing us to share whatever Absol this is with yeah. YouTube. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. But please, I, yes. I've, I've prevented you from opening this box <laughs> until this very moment. What's in the box? We're so <laughs> eager. So hit hit us with it. What you got? I, I will. So this is the first ever portable magnetic device. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah. That is not what I thought you were going to say. No, I, 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 that's what I was thinking. So what's wonderful about Fine is we're not so, uh, you know, we're not so closed into a box where we only do one thing. Mm. People think that sometimes when they think of Fine, they think of just a multi-master or they might think of a mag drill and that's all they, 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 it doesn't go any further than that. My old coworkers used to say, pass me the fine tool. Right. And that's what they meant was the, the multi-tool. The, the multi yeah, yeah, the multi-tool. Yep. Bill Craig is our, our new president that, that has just changed a lot of the vision and, and changed the, you know, the way we're going to be going into the future. And one of the biggest things that we came out with is this portable magnetic device. So let me just share that with you. Oh. So. Here is the magnetic base, and uh, one of the things that we incorporated from our mag drills is we do a dovetail I see that. system, and then that's how you have it on the four inch mag drill. Uh, this will give you a capacity of four and a half uh, with, uh, if you put it on the lip, and then you slide it in, goes on just like that. So why this versus here, for instance? Yeah, yeah, go right ahead. Perfect comparison. Why that over that? Man, I'm so glad you did that. <laughs> um, that is just phenomenal. So we're gonna go ahead and, and just analyze this. Sure. So we've got four bolts that are actually holding this down, securing this down. Right. So you've got a wrench that you have to actually use and then try to move this with all of that debris inside the tracks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it just takes a minute or two. This takes 10 seconds. So all you do is just open her up, put whatever hard or whatever, whatever you're working material, on. whatever yeah. material you're actually wanting to clamp, and then you just click it over one time, and that'll give you your 30% capacity of the magnetic, of the magnet base. So then you can physically uh, fine, -tune it. fine tune it to find your punch hole. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, you lift the plastic up, Pull it forward. This is 1,175 pounds. No way. <laughs> <laughs> give it a give it a yank. You have to be pure at heart. See the, uh, <laughs> the threads left. Yeah. Right. Only the well. true king of Roanoke. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah. So. So I. I, do you imagine this? I see this being used on a mill or a drill press. Yeah, um, actually, we, we've got one there right now. We can just move it right over there real quick. Sure. And if you want to just, um, if we could just yeah. take it right up. So here it is. So now this is locked down, right? Now we just take this here. Yeah, that's pretty slick. And then bring it over here. And now we can work. We can go ahead and work on it. Opening the camera. I love a professional. <laughs> and then you can go ahead and work on it exactly where you want it. Move it 30%. I like that you have these rabbits right here. Yes, so for instance, we're just gonna use this block as a display. It is. There we go. We wanna just, perfect. And then what we wanna do is at 30%, we can go ahead and literally move it with your hand, mm -hmm. get it exactly where you want it. Yeah, and then tighten it down. Get the muscle memory dialed in. So. The dovetail, this part, yep. what, what is that for? So the dovetail actually tracks and, and secures the actual clamp itself. Mm -hmm. There are two screws here that I, I did not tighten down, but that will secure it and lock it in. So by, by all accounts, this will be permanently affixed to this. Yes, and, I could, show, and I, could, I could show you that in a second. So then what benefit does it have? In what case would you, do you loosen those screws as part of your workflow and slide it off? Or is that just sort of a, or you can- Are there interchangeable yeah. pieces? Oh, it's mod, maybe yeah, it's modular? Yeah. Perfect, so so I was just waiting for you to, to do that. So what, what we're gonna do is, let's let's go ahead and say we, we, we went ahead and, and did our uh, hole here for this piece, right? Now we wanna bring it back over there and let's just say 
we want to weld mm -hmm. um, something to this piece. Yeah. Okay. Again, we're going to just put it at 30%, put it where you want to, lift it up, lock it down. There we go. You can slide that off. So that is still on there, right where you left it. Yes. And we have a 5 8 hole oh, welding plate yeah. that you could actually put on here. Again, I would have to tighten the screws, but for this video, we're just, we're just having some fun here. There's your welding plate. Now, you can put that anywhere. You can put it... Upside down. <laughs> yes. Cool. <laughs> any any awesome. of these surfaces. Any, yeah. Anything. Anything. So if, you, if you're working, like for instance, if you have a tractor and you're going down to you uh, like a, a fence in your uh, farm and you need to hold two pieces of metal and you want to weld it, and then you you would hold it with that. Yeah, stick uh, this to your bumper. Exactly. Fix stick your it. clamps. Correct. Hold everything in. Yep. That's great. And so you go, where, where do you tighten it up? So what I'd like to show you is, let me see if sure. I've got that. What, what, I was, uh, what I would suggest is, I would almost suggest putting it like that. Mm. And then Tightening it. Oh, I see. Just some offset yeah. washers that grab the dovetail. Yeah. We'll tighten down the wedges Got it. that will actually clamp onto the dovetail. And that's it. Just two on one side. That is it. Nice. Just two on one side. And then now it's secure enough to. So we're going to go ahead and just put it right here. If I can center it with my hand. There we go. And then we're going to put it at 30%. And then we're going to hold it. Thanks. What? Red. <laughs> now, you're going to have that sitting there, right? Yeah. And so this is our uh, new CG15 grinder. We have scalloped the, the top part to actually uh, have your hand uh, grip it even better with the soft rubber. Uh, scallop the front so you can hold it up front. Uh, this is the first ever grinder that's actually a capsulated motor, which you would think grinders would be, the motor would be covered because of all the debris and, and all the dirt and everything. So this is the first ever capsulated motor, covered motor, brushless motor, uh, 15 amps. It's got a soft start. It's got a two second break. The air actually travels through the back, comes through the motor and exits out the front and either actually helps the debris move yeah. forward. So this is a very powerful, this is a 9,000 RPM, and it's a beast. <laughs> uh, so it's variable speed. A lot of people actually like this uh, grinder because of how light it is, the actual mechanics of it, and the balance of it. And then you can actually use this, and I hate to say it kind of like this, but it's like a paintbrush, mm -hmm. uh, where you can slow it down, and yeah. you can use it to find now what's that semicircle device behind <laughs> yeah. I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> this is something called a guard. Okay, okay, I'm listening. Back in the uh, Roman days, they, 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 they came out with this. I think it was like, it started in this, there's this new uh, trend in about 2000, 2001, okay, okay. where they started getting rid of it. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I thought it was like, you know how you have to break the seal on, on like a new <laughs> electronic device or pull the tab out of the battery compartment yes. before you can use it? Yeah. I thought you that. Take it out. Yeah. You have to yeah. put the guard on it, you can't put a six inch wheel. No. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then, and then how am I right. supposed yeah. to look straight down the six inch wheel? Got it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Does it move around? Because that's always the greatest consolation with a guard is you can move it out of your way. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, yeah. I just yeah. without it's even adjustable. <laughs> yeah, and then you can actually have it going this way. Yeah. Um, the one of the things that I, I absolutely just love about this grinder is how 
much power it has. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna probably do something. Can we put some steel in here? So yeah, like here. you can do steel if you want. Yeah, let's put some steel yeah. in. There. That's fine. I don't know if that's an aluminum wheel on there. It's it's not, but. If you, I'll do gum up. <laughs> I, I will do anything you want. I promise you, this thing is a beast. Well, here's some old rusty metal. Uh -huh. Perfect. The flap wheel on. Yep. <clears throat> nice. Thank you. All right. So <laughs> we're going to find ourselves uh, at uh, level one. Level one. At a low RPM, um, it still actually holds its speed. So that's, that's just absolutely wonderful about this uh, German-made so load grinder. Load sensing, right? And it'll increase. Yeah. Uh, could be level three. Uh, that brake is fast. Yeah. We're just gonna go wide open. Yeah. Let's yeah. just do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all right there, Walker? <laughs> all right, back to number one. That's my, as I call it, my uh, my paintbrush. Where I want to discover it and just do my job as a professional. Sure. I'm going to repeat this and talk about class here. Yeah, right. So, this is going to walk in class here. Yeah, I do. Two second break, which is phenomenal. Yeah, and there you go. Yeah. You want to feel the balance? Yes, of that? please. Yeah. It's, yeah, pretty light. It is very light. And it's a 15 amp. It's, it's big. Big. Yeah. yeah. I'm a personal fan of the paddle switch. I yeah. The safest. Yeah. Safest. That kind two of second it. break is phenomenal. You just need to give it a full second to go back on because we need the, uh, we need that system to reset and then now you can go back. Got it. I usually give it a good full two seconds. Uh, and then you can, as you're doing it, you can move that as much as you want. Oh, my. There's the size. Can I get those bricks? Oh, phenomenal. So let's have you literally just come on over here and just, oh, how's about you just grind it right down? Take it down. Take it down. I'm going to move position. Do you need uh, glasses? Yeah. Oh, you got glasses? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, I'm going to say I was like, is this going to be a lot? <clears throat> you're just going to demonstrate how hard you could actually stand on it. Okay. That's all. Should I start on one? No, you just start on six, man. <laughs> yeah, you just start on six and you just bear down. It's nice ready. that this is back enough to where you may not hit it. Yeah. 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 Plan. Holy Sorry. crap. You can cope with it. Yeah, I, mean, I was just going to say, the flat wheel is just, just as impressive. Yeah. Yeah. You get a two inch pipe off, be ready to yeah. notch it just <laughs> yeah. before too long. There's our more. Let's get, let's get that material off. You know? Beautiful. Let's get the flap of it. Let's not even know. Yeah. Let's get them all. That's insane. Is that not awesome? Yeah, we get one of those uh, tri-cubitron -cub things. Yep. Yeah, that'll, that'll eat some material. <laughs> this is going to be quite loud. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you mind turning the fan on? So what, what what I would like for you to do, if you don't mind, is what we're going to try to do is let's, let's get this rust off. Yeah. As soon as possible with yeah. as much weight 
on it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, let's sure. let's really just get this done because your boss wants this clean. Yeah. And he, th we just don't have any time. It's the later of the day. We got shit to do. Let's. Yep. There you go. Let's just make sure that we can even do it on this side if you want. But whatever you want to do. White side. We need this done. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> I'm working on it. Can I go home now? <laughs> Great job. What do you think? It does what it's supposed to do, and it does it very well. You know, feels good. The power is very consistent. You almost get used to working with a grinder that dies down when you push right. it. I don't. I'm not ever going to overpower that. No. Which and is a gonna, different feeling. Yeah. You, what's good about this? Now that you're so comfortable with it, you're going to fine tune it. Yeah. To your needs with your project. Right. And you're going to actually start getting work done a lot quicker. Because you already know what settings and you already know right. what to use and what not to do with it. Because, and then the great thing about it is your arms are not going to be tired because you've been working with it all day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's balanced well. The actual distributor and fine, you know, we, we do a one year warranty. And then mm -hmm. the customer will just have to register online for an additional two years. Sure. What's something like that run? We're talking um, 350. You know, that we're not cheaper than I thought it would be, given you know what you remember about for not what this, you remember about this fine. Brand color. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. And what's wonderful is our five inch and our six inch are the same exact price. And is this the smallest one? Five inch. Yep. Got it. Yep. Because sometimes, sometimes I do like a real small, I don't know what the smallest one I have. This is the one. Oh boy. $15 Harbor Freight. Yes! This is a, this is a terrible uh, gr grinder. But what is cool about something like this is how small it is. Does Fine have anything in that range? Anything in that size? Anything in that? Because this is a workhorse, man. Yes, like, it When is. you're like cruising, this is appropriately marketed. It's exactly what it's going to do. It's just that. Yeah. And what's great about that question is we do. We have a yeah. seven amp, very small. But the one thing that we do have that a lot of a lot of uh, seven amp um, competitors that do have a seven amp or even an eleven amp or an eight amp uh, grinder is ours is a paddle. Nice. Uh, so I can grab that for you real quick. Sure. And we can just put it in your hands. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> the the seven amp grinder. We sell them, you can buy them individually. They have two packs. Right? They got a two pack. Yeah. And it's like 100 bucks. I see it on Trick Tools all the time, yeah. that 7 yeah. two pack. I'm kind of tempted to buy two two packs and throw all this shit away. Yeah. 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 Predictable. Which, right? you know, at 50 bucks a pop, it's still a lot more than Harbor Freight. Oh, yeah. But uh, this thing is charming for $15. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, it sounds like shit, but. You know, never spent less to lose more fingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get that little switch locked on, oh and then God. it's like it'll never it's stop. The yeah. typical force when it's you like get the six inch cutter on there, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I got. There we go. So there's your seven amp yep. jobber. Oh, there's wow, a look seven amp jobber. Oh, full length it's paddle. I like that. That's what I was, I was hoping that you would find that more long. comfortable. Yeah. Um, and this yeah. is great for a college. This is great right. for a, a student that is just starting yeah. out, yeah. something very inexpensive. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, um, and, and you can just hold that with There's the, your one handed operation yeah. if you need it. I mean, I can yeah. almost get my fingers all the way around it. You got big hands. I do have big hands, but. I don't know if I, if I know anything about a one handed uh, grinder. The only thing I'm I sure know it's about. it's not recommended. So the only thing <laughs> I recommend. This one and lose it. I recommend, <laughs> I recommend two really hands. I don't, I, I've never heard of a one hand uh, grinder. I would, so. No, I would never ask you to endorse that. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm yeah. not, I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> well, like Aaron just said, when you use a cheap grinder and lose a hand, then. You know, <laughs> That's the one handed grinder. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this, this is, this is my 
chosen starting team then you know because you have this for the small detail stuff that's maybe you are upside down all day and you know yep. bigger grinder like this is going to get heavy but when you're when you really need to chew into something strip paint strip rust grind it down then you switch over the great thing about this grinder here the cg15 uh, is it's a hundred percent duty cycle aaron you should hold this thing i want to get your get your mitts on it that is very nice to come so. So Aaron, Absolutely. you said you have a fine grind? I've got one of those little seven guns, ah. which is, seems more than seven, which is yeah. <laughs> especially compared to right. the DeWalt's next to it. And the paddle is so nice. That's yeah, that's the, like... That's this, your dead man switch. Yeah. That's your safety. You know, that gives you your safety. This is so finicky, getting yeah. that versus that this big, you can just grab with a glove. You don't have to worry about it, but this one... Well, in Team Red, sometimes it'll get you weird where you have to go the opposite direction mm -hmm. what you're used to. You got to flip it up and then down, and the, this is just very yep. intuitive. Are you ever a, a fan of an option to lock it on even with a paddle switch? Any sort of lock on button that's just not safe? Uh, me no speak English. <laughs> 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 yes. This is cool. I mean, we love, we have an old. A magnetic vise from a surface grinder yep. that we use to clean up our small parts from the plasma cutter. Yep. And, and just, that's uh, this I, technology. I want a fine magnetic vise. This mom. So we have a fine magnetic vise at home. <laughs> <laughs> How much is that vise though? Just the vise alone. Oh, I'm sure it was quite over, a bit back in 1940. Or yeah, whatever. over a grand at least. Well, that's yeah. a brown and sharp one. Yeah. yeah, that would have been a nice one. They sell cheap ones now, you know, Chinese knockoffs for several hundred dollars. But a good magnetic vise is this expensive. One with the uh, the vice head on its 450. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Not, this plate? The, the plate is extra. I think there's a kit. That there comes, is a, it, the plate is I'm extra. Sure about that. The, the plate, plate is extra. It's a, the it's, plate's 100 and 200 bucks. Yeah, 200 dollars. Yeah. 200 bucks to his plate. Are you planning any additional accessories? We or? are, and I'm so glad you, you <laughs> mentioned that. So what we're going to be doing, which is one of the biggest anticipated um, additions to the accessories for the Versamag is we are planning on coming out with a pipe vise mm -hmm. and it's going to actually be a game changer so not only are you going to be able to have a vise with you but then you can take the vise off you can weld with this plate you'll be able to remove the plate and you'll be able to put your new accessory on with a pipe vise and a chain mm -hmm. nice. so you'll be able to hold a pipe and do your job, weld on it, whatever you'd like. And that's, once that comes out, I, I, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to actually make, make them fast enough yeah. to actually. So every single customer that I have been to, I've mentioned something about a pipe vise with the chain lock, yeah. and they said, yes, I'll take it. But uh, I, I would like to show you something else that I, that I don't Come think. on, man, let's, let's go. Let's, let's do something that's like, let's, let's get some things really going here. Let's, let's, uh, Let's let's is this not. This the appetizer. This is the appetizer. Oh, oh, I'm hungry. Shit. Yeah, I thought this was a name card. It's not actually. No, this hurt. is this is this is foreplay. And uh, <laughs> well, I'm ready to go. Okay. okay. <laughs> so let's let's get. You have a uh, piece of uh, of uh, flat steel. I'm sure we do. Yeah, flat let's reset steel. The table almost here. quarter, maybe like a. I bet we got. There's some three eighths flat bar back here. There's some. What are right. now? This may be something yeah, I've we could, seen yeah. a video. So this is the 5.0 fine uh, nibbler. And that's going to... Uh, I'm thinking it's going to do this. So... <laughs> Alright. wild. Well, that's a little bit thick. Yeah, um, but it didn't seem it, to care at all. They did not. So. <laughs> What's it technically rated for? What do you say it's rated for, thickness-wise? I don't know it off the top of my head. I That's that quarter it. inch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's do, what is this? That's 360. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is, yeah, we're going to cut, this is nothing. There you go. So, you see how you're trying to make that notch? You guys used a... Uh, that was plasma cut. Yeah, plasma yeah. cut. Sure. 
pivot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you say this pivots? Uh, yeah, so go ahead and just turn it towards that way and then lock her in. And then now you can do it sideways. Start it before you go in and then you're ready to go. That's a hilarious duel. <laughs> Look at, look at, look at. You like you. So look how much time you're saving. That was right? so fast. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. The, and has it deformed at yeah, all? It cuts no, it. it. Absolutely not. Right. I'm yep. Do that. Yep. There you go. Well, <laughs> dead flat. Like it's like it was done with a cold saw. <clears throat> That's cool. Oh, that it gets good. better. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, there's I'm, more. Like, oh, there's more. Yeah, there yeah. is. Yeah. Let I'm me here. Let me show you this. Maze here. <laughs> Check this out. So you just went straight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah, you can just turn it mid cut. Yeah. So what I was excited to see is you've got this like side face here, right, yep. to the cutter, that if you had a line you're trying to follow. Right. Because with all tools like this, I try to envision how I would actually use it. And right. that where I would, at where accuracy is gained or lost. That face seems to give you a great it's reference point. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to mat, cut a, uh, on a line, yep. like a curved profile or a straight profile, which is, what I look for. Yeah. Reference points, like the side of a, a circular saw, for sure, instance. Sure. has a notch cut out in the fence, but sometimes you don't want to trust it. This You're surface, always watching the blade. Instead. Always watching the blade, but this surface it is the blade. I know that, yeah. Can I do something? Yeah, yeah. Practical application. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I want to cut that. You got it. I would do it my way because of the way that I like to use Please it. Please do. I like using it just straight up. Kind of makes more sense. It does for me. And then I'm going to be... It still raised it. I don't know why. So much power. It is a lot of power. But, I mean, we're burying the lead. Pull her in so I get nothing. We're not, yeah, we're, 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 yeah, that's the thing. That's just. And really, there's no, I mean, maybe a little bit of, I assume there's like a gear that's kind of, I'm not yeah, pulling it, you know, leaves a little oh. something there, but that's, yep. that's nothing. That is nothing. That is nothing. Yes. And then that's where you, I technically would not use this at all. Put it at one. So when you get a quarter inch plate on the, you know, versus having to take an angle grinder and throw in sparks and dust and debris on our on the trolley and all that. that yeah, it's a, a good skeleton way. cut up tool for sure. Yeah, very cool. All right, let's look. What do you guys think? I think all of this stuff is very cool. I like the modular magnetic vise. That's, yeah, that's what's got me the most excited. Uh, this thing it would be an awesome problem solver to have in the toolbox. Oh my God. Um, Absolutely. Well, Danny, thank you so much for coming by the show. <laughs> thank you this so much. This is awesome. There's a lot of cool stuff. Coming yeah, out of actually, I've got a whole truck full of stuff, but we'll just work on this right here. You can leave that truck here. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everybody say that? <laughs> Where can people go to learn more about Fine and yeah. what they got? That's great. Great question. So right now you can go to uh, feinus.com. Yeah. You heard it here first. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Go to ARC3. Find about fine. Links in the description. Have a fine day. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys.